All right, let's get right into it. My number one expensive purchase worth every penny. My blender. More specifically, my Vitamix blender that I've had for close to 10 years. This one cost me about $500. If you love meal planning, a quality blender is a must have. I prep all my breakfast protein shakes and my green smoothies ahead of time. Before I find Vitamix, I tried many other cheaper blenders, but they just don't have enough power. Most of them either couldn't blend well or just broke after a few months. But this one I had close to 10 years and still going super strong. The motor is amazing and as long as I continue to take care of it, I feel like it'll last me another 10 years. Also blending is a great way to consume healthy food that you might have a hard time getting yourself to eat. For example, greens. We all know we need more of it, but it's such a hassle. So what I like to do is blend it with some fruits. Pineapples work the best and drink it like juice. $500 isn't cheap, but for me it has completely changed my diet and thus worth every penny. My number two expensive purchase worth every penny. My iPad Pro. Apple offers iPad in several models. The regular iPad, iPad Air, and iPad Pro. The cost ranges from $500 to $1,000 per iPad, depending on if you want LTE, more storage, or better processor. My iPad Pro pretty much goes with me everywhere I go. And when you pair it with a keyboard, it can replace your computer when you're on the road. Apart from a few complex operations, it can pretty much do everything that your laptop or desktop should be able to do. Respond to emails, write, and watch YouTube videos. My number three expensive purchase worth every penny. My Apple AirPods. This pairs really well with the iPad. When the AirPod first came out, I was like, what? I'm not going to spend $170 on a pair of headphones. Apple already sends me a complimentary one when you order the iPhone. But when Apple removed this headphone jack from the latest iPad, I was left with no choice. So as reluctant as I was, I decided to pull the trigger and get myself a pair of AirPods. And what a difference. I did not realize how much of a hassle the headphone cables were until it was gone. Before it would catch itself on my shirt or the doorknob when walking around the house. But no more. Also with the wireless headphone, you aren't tethered to the device that it's connected to. I can walk around the house while still listening to my music or a podcast episode. My number four expensive purchase worth every penny. My Kindle Paperwhite. I got mine for about $130 from Amazon several years back when they were having a Black Friday sale. This one is really great if you love reading, but don't want to lug around books everywhere you go. Whenever I was about to get on the road, it was always a debate about what book I should take with me. This big hardback or this smaller soft cover. I really like the hardback, but I don't like the extra weight. Oh, what to do? Well, no more dilemma. I take them all with me because they all store nicely in this easy to carry Kindle Paperwhite. It's also great if you want to read more before going to bed. Because it's lightweight and also has a backlight, it's super convenient to read while laying in bed. Ditch the phone when you're in bed. Replace it with a Kindle Paperwhite and read more and sleep better. In the theme of getting better sleep, do you know what else would help us sleep well at night? Knowing that our sensitive personal information isn't being exploited online. Which is why I'm excited to talk to you about today's video sponsor, Aura. Have you ever Googled yourself and were shocked to see your personal information exposed on one of those public listing sites? I sure have. And I was shocked by how much what I thought was private information was all over the internet for anyone to see. My previous employer, where I lived, even my phone number. What's happening is your information is being sold online by data brokers, and they're making a fortune selling your private information to those who want to learn more about you. Think spammers, robocallers, etc. Well, Aura can identify data brokers exposing your information and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are required by law to remove your information whenever requests come in, but they make it super hard to do. Let Aura handle that for you. And that's not all Aura can do. There is so much more. It actively monitors the dark web to see if any of your personal information has leaked. Think emails, passwords, and even your social security number. It monitors your credit account and alerts you to suspicious activities. Its one-click secure VPN allows you to shop, bank, and browse online securely and privately. It scans your device for malware, ransomware, and viruses. And Aura's parental control can protect your kids by filtering harmful sites and apps. And it does all this at one affordable price. No need to download and pay for multiple different apps to get things like parental control, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and more. And if you go to my special link, you can start your free two-week trial today. That's right, it doesn't cost you anything to test out this amazing tool. In today's digital age, it's crucial that we protect our information. So let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can sleep peacefully at night. All right, with that said, let's get back to the video. My number five expensive purchase worth every penny. My standing desk. Because I want to keep my old sitting desk, I purchased this desktop converter from Verydesk for about $250. But if you want a full standing desk solution, you can find a decent one for about $400 to a nice one going up to $1,000. Sitting for an extended period of time is not good for your health. You don't have to see a doctor to know this. 
If you work behind the computer and had a day where you're sitting at your desk for many hours, your back tells you pretty quickly. A standing desk helps by getting you on your feet. And for me, apart from alleviating my back pain, it helps me with my concentration as well. When I'm on my feet, I'm a lot more conscious of my posture. I feel the need to stand straighter, and when I stand straighter, I'm a lot more serious with my work. It could all be in my head, but if standing more helps me with my productivity, I feel like the investment was worth it. My number six expensive purchase worth every penny. In the line of helping me with my productivity, our espresso machine. I say ours because it's actually my wife's. She lets me use it here and there, but only if I'm super careful. We own this Breville espresso machine that we purchased for about $700 from Amazon. Both my wife and I are coffee drinkers. We love a good cup of coffee from a coffee shop. However, we also understand it's not financially smart to do it every day. It's a steep initial investment, but the math works in your favor if you use it often like we do. Additionally, when you get coffee out, the quality of the coffee is dependent on the coffee shop and the barista. Once you learn the basics of brewing your own coffee, you control the quality. My number seven expensive purchase worth every penny. To go along with our very expensive espresso machine, expensive quality coffee beans. We initially didn't know what we were doing when we first got our espresso machine. So we just used whatever coffee beans we could find, often resorting to the cheapest. However, once our taste buds got more refined and our coffee making skills improved, we realized that the quality of beans mattered a lot in producing the best espresso. Yes, I know, it's a luxury, but we spend on average about $30 for a bag of beans that lasts us a week or two. My number eight expensive purchase worth every penny. This one is my personal favorite. My squat rack from Rogue Fitness. A price tag warning, this one is expensive. The squat rack, bench, the weights, and other accessories including the dip bar and the deadlift jack cost me close to $3,000. However, after having owned this rig for the past seven years, I can say confidently it was worth every penny. It removes so much friction from working out when you have a squat rack literally at an arm's reach. And because I see it every day, if I skip a day, it painfully reminds me. Before we go to the next section, a quick reminder that I created a free one-page companion PDF guide to go along with this video. Pretty much everything I'm covering here in a simple to digest one-page format. So if you'd like a free copy of this PDF, please go to the link I'll have in the description below. My number nine expensive purchase worth every penny. Quality sunglasses. Mine are from Ray-Ban and cost me about $180 when I bought it many years back. I think this one I have, this is a classic Ray-Ban one, runs anywhere between $150 to $200 depending on where you buy it. And high quality sunglasses aren't just about fashion. They play a crucial role in eye protection. In California where I live, the sun is especially strong. Thus a good pair of sunglasses like this one has been helpful in shielding my eyes from UV rays. Additionally, because of its high quality, they last many years as long as you take care of them well. I've tried many cheap sunglasses in the past, and let me tell you, they don't last. My number 10 expensive purchase worth every penny. In the line of investing in quality, quality winter jackets. My favorite brands are North Face and Patagonia, and the one I have right now cost me around $300. Again, in the line of frugality, I've tried many cheap winter jackets in the past. Having grown up wearing cheap clothes, I just couldn't justify spending so much money on a jacket. I didn't understand why they cost so much. This was until I tried them on and in extreme weather conditions. A good winter jacket like this actually keeps you warm in cold weather. As funny as this sounds, I didn't know this. Again, remember, I never owned a good winter jacket until adulthood, so I thought if it was cold outside, you're just cold. You can't change that. That was until I invested in a quality winter jacket. And the nice thing about jackets from North Face or Patagonia is that they don't go out of fashion. They were in fashion five years ago, and I'm sure the same jacket will still be in fashion five years from now. My number 11 expensive purchase worth every penny. Insulated stainless steel water bottle. This one I have is from Hydro Flask, but my kids use the one from Takea. They're all great brands and you can buy them for around 20 to $40. I actually bought this Hydro Flask water bottle close to 10 years ago because of my wife. Prior to that, I was totally fine with cheap reusable plastic water bottles that I replace every few months. My thought was why in the world would anyone spend $20 for a water bottle when you can get them for a dollar or sometimes free. But when my wife was working as a bedside nurse, apparently these insulated stainless water bottles were very popular with the hospital staff. They kept her water cold like thermos. I was skeptical at first but decided to try it out and I have not gone back. This water bottle pretty much goes with me everywhere I go, and I'm still amazed by how well it keeps my water cool throughout the day. Again, the line of healthy habits, we all know we need to drink more water, but it's hard to do. So if you want to invest in something that could motivate you to drink more water, I recommend you check out these insulated stainless water bottles. My number 12 expensive purchase worth every penny, a quality pillow. 
I own this very fancy shredded memory foam pillow with bamboo cover that I bought from Amazon for $75. And you might be thinking, $75 for a pillow? Are you nuts? And you consider yourself a frugal person. Well, the reason I spend that much on a pillow is because I consider sleep to be that important. Good sleep, I believe, is one of the key pillars to good health, in addition to good diet, exercise, and stress management. Without good sleep, it doesn't matter if we have the best laid out plan or best intentions. Our brain won't be able to execute because it didn't get the proper rest. So I'm all for investing in things that help me sleep better, and this pricey pillow is one of them. Because it's made of memory foam, it slowly molds the shape of your head. And when it flattens out from all the use, just throw it in the dryer for 10 minutes and it's like new again. This is another one of those things I was skeptical of when I first heard about it. Having used cheap pillows my whole life, I was like, what difference can it make? But once you try it, it's hard to go back. Now, I get very particular about hotel pillows because they don't provide the same level of cushion that these pillows provide. My number 13 expensive purchase worth every penny, a quality backpack. I use this North Face backpack that got around for $100. Again, for some of you who are used to spending no more than $20 for a backpack, I feel you. I was initially shocked at the price of some of these backpacks. Why in the world would anyone spend that amount of money for a bag, right? But once you test these high quality backpacks, especially for a whole day, you know why. When I was traveling a lot for work, I would spend hours wearing a heavy backpack, walking through the terminal, waiting in line to get food, waiting in line to get on the plane. And understandably, my shoulder as well as my back would be aching by the time I was seated on the plane. The straps were thin and cheap, and because all the items in the bag would hang at the bottom, it would constantly pull me backward, putting unnecessary pressure on my back. These high quality bags are designed to mitigate that. Now, it doesn't completely remove all discomfort, but even a little bit helps. My number 14 expensive purchase, worth every penny. My hair perm that I gladly spent $150 on. No explanation necessary. My number 15 expensive purchase worth every penny. Coreless vacuum cleaner. The one that I have is from LG, but the one that is probably best known in the market is from Dyson. A good cordless vacuum cleaner costs around $500. I grew up with the traditional vacuum cleaner. You know, the ones you have to plug to the wall, unwind the power cable to give you length, and where you have to replace the vacuum bags after a few use. I'm sure we all use one of those growing up. They worked well, but they were a pain to use. And this is coming from a guy who likes to clean. It was such a hassle getting it from the closet and trying not to vacuum over the electric cable. Well, no more worries. These cordless vacuum cleaners actually make vacuuming an enjoyable process. No more vacuum bags you have to replace, no need to plug it to the nearest outlet, and no cords getting in the way. Additionally, because they actually look good, we no longer keep these in the closet, but out in the living room for all visitors to admire. My number 16 expensive purchase worth every penny. A GoPro. I'm not like one of those YouTubers who love carrying their large mirrorless cameras everywhere. Despite how much I like filming new experiences, I just can't get myself to pull out these big cameras. I'm afraid I'm going to drop it, I'm afraid I'm on the wrong recording setting, and I'm worried I'm not getting the audio right. So when I got my hands on these GoPros, I was instantly hooked. It fits nicely in my pocket and my bag. It's so small, sometimes you forget you even have it. It records fairly well and is quite durable. No more missing precious family moments because you're afraid you're going to ruin your phone or your mirrorless camera. My number 17 expensive purchase worth every penny. LASIK eye surgery. I had really bad vision up until my 20s. I couldn't read without my glasses and I couldn't drive without them. So when LASIK first started to become popular, I forked over close to $4,000 and got myself LASIK eye surgery. And 20 years later, I can still confidently say it was one of the best investments I made in my life. No need to get new glasses every few years, no struggling with contact lenses, no more searching for my glasses in the morning. Now I still have to be careful to take care of my eyes and not abuse my good vision, but I can't imagine ever going back to wearing glasses again. My number 18 expensive purchase worth every penny. Quality health insurance. Healthcare in the United States is expensive, especially if you have to pay out of pocket like I do. However, the cost of not having it can be detrimental. So despite how expensive quality health insurance is, I consider every premium payment I make every month a great investment to our future. Thank you guys for watching and the line of purchases that are worth every penny. Please check out my video here on inexpensive purchases that are worth every penny. Until next time, all the best.